For this one, a balloon is filled to a volume of 700 milliliters at 20 degrees Celsius. The balloon is then cooled down to 100 kelvins. What is the final volume of the balloon? First thing that I want you to notice is that they give us one temperature in degrees Celsius and the other one in Kelvin. So we're going to have to change the Celsius to Kelvins. And for this particular problem, since they are telling us the temperature and they're asking us the volume, we're going to go with Charles's law. And Charles's law was teaching us that the volume is directly proportional to the temperature. So if you increase the temperature, you will increase the volume. All right, so it's a fine initial state, final state kind of problem. So we can use Charles' law this way. We know that V1 over T1 is going to equal a constant. So we can equal initial conditions to final conditions. We're ready to put our numbers in. We're going to solve again for V2, but before we even start, let's convert the 20.0 20 point, uh, 20 degrees Celsius to Kelvins. So you take your degree Celsius and you add 273.15 Kelvins, and that gives you 293. 0.15, if you don't want to use the decimals, that's fine, but it's not going to hurt you. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use the volume in milliliters. That means that the volume that I'm going to get at the end is also going to be in milliliters. T2 comes over here on the other side, and that one is 100 kelvins. And I divide it by T1, 293.15 kelvins. The kelvins cancel. And I have 239 milliliters, milliliters as the final volume.